In the Third Age, war came again to Middle-earth, as the will of Sauron searched anew for his ring. The Dark Lord compelled many into his service, including Saruman, a once great and wise wizard. Thus war came to Rohan, forcing King Theoden to seek refuge in the fortress of Helm's Deep. And now a vast army shall assault these ancient walls with siege ladders and war machines. To survive, the defenders must hold the Deeping Wall and the Gate to the Keep, but all must beware the devilry of Saruman's devices. Are you prepared for battle? to them! Defend the Deeping Wall! They swarm up the ladders! Smash the wall! The order soon break in! Retreat!
Hardly, but the wall is breached, and now the gate is overrun. We must pull back to the throne room. Uruk swarm into the throne room through the glittering caves. We must help Theoden reclaim it. Defend the remains of the Deeping Wall! Do not let them pass! 
Through the bravery and sacrifice of many, King Theoden has led the people of Rohan to victory. But the danger has not passed, for the pits of Isengard and Moria yet remain. And Sauron directs all evil from atop his dark tower. Yet the seeds of resistance have been planted, for Gondor still stands defiant, and an ancient slumbering power has now awakened to aid their cause. And in this great war, the White Wizard shall lead us, for it is his destiny to contest Sauron for the fate of all of Middle-earth. Trusting his army had destroyed Theoden's people at Helm's Deep, Saruman believed himself secure in his Tower of Orthanc. But the ringed walls of Isengard proved no defense against the vengeance of Ents and men. And within Saruman's pits, many wrathful Rohan prisoners awaited liberation. While his machineries belch foul vapors, above, Saruman directs his defense and marshals his sorcery. For the battle is far from certain, and now Ent and Rohirrim alike must face Saruman's wrath. Tortured our friends below! The entrance to their pits must be thrown open! Archers! We need magic to protect us! Slay the pit guards! Cut through to the entrance!
nasty one! Solomon's fire machine spews flames of death! Destroy that infernal device! Saruman's machine is no more. Wormtongue carries the key to the Tower of Orthanc. We must capture it for Treebeard. You are not welcome. The traitor Wormtongue is no more. The key lies somewhere upon the ground. Recover it. Surface. Carry the key to Treebeard!
armies of the East stretch out to take you. As my power builds, your hope burns. Getting up the stairs is the easy part. Dealing with Saruman might prove more difficult. Closer look at the last thing you will see. Solomon hides inside, atop the stairs. Those trees are an ancient madness. Burn them all, I say. Solomon cannot escape. We have triumphed. His power shattered, Saruman could not prevail against the courage that was arrayed against him. And in the end, his betrayal was avenged. Treebeard now serves as master of Orthon, and the pits of Isengard have been cleansed of Saruman's filth. But the Dark Lord's power has not been broken, for Saruman served merely as a pawn, a distraction to weaken Gondor's borders. Within Mordor, the armies of Sauron grow and his war has hardly begun.